guys welcome back to our channel today i'm going to be showing you guys an exciting recipe for me which is the salisbury steak you guys when i was a kid i used to love the tv dinners which i think the brand was like banquet or something like that they used to have so many different like uh dinner options and salisbury steak was my favorite so i'm going to be showing you guys how to veganize it these are the ingredients you're gonna need. So if you guys wanna see how I made it, keep watching. So first I'm gonna start with chopping my veggies into little small bite-sized pieces. I'm just using half of a yellow onion and half of a green bell pepper. So next we're taking our plant-based ground meat. You can use whatever plant-based meat you like. We're gonna be adding our green bell peppers and onions. I'm taking about a cup of breadcrumbs and we're gonna be adding our wet ingredients, which is Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce, liquid smoke and Dijon mustard. Or you can use whatever mustard you have on hand. Next, we're going to go ahead and season up our mixture. You can season it up with whatever you like, but I'll have a full description down below if you want to know exactly what I used. So once everything's mixed all together, you're gonna go ahead and start forming your Salisbury steak patties. Uh, for this batch, I believe it made about six patties. All right guys, so this is how the patties are supposed to look. I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the fridge for about 30 minutes just so they firm up a bit more. So now that your patties have firmed up, we're gonna go ahead and give them a nice sear on both sides for about three to five minutes. So once you've got a nice sear on your patties, we're gonna go ahead and remove them from the pot and get started on our gravy. I'm not gonna remove the grease that it made, I'm just gonna add a little bit more grease to it. So next we're gonna add our onions, let those cook down, get nice and translucent. Once those are halfway cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add our mushrooms and I'm using baby Bella mushrooms, I believe, and we're gonna go ahead and season this up. So for my broth, I'm using this Better Than Bouillon No Beef Base, which is basically a vegan beef stock. This is so good and it's perfect for this meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon, I believe, with two cups of water and add this to the pot. 
So next, we're going to go ahead and add our patties back to the pot. And here you can actually taste your broth to make sure it's seasoned to your liking or add more seasoning or more water if it's too salty. But then we're going to cook our patties for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, guys, so now that our patties have been simmering for about 20 to 25 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and thicken up our gravy and we're just gonna use our flour mixture or you can also do it with cornstarch. I don't have exact measurements, but all you need to do is mix some flour or cornstarch with water and add it to your gravy, which thickens it up. I would say start with a little, see how thick or thin you want your gravy and then add more. Once you've added your cornstarch or flour mixture, we're gonna go ahead and cover this for about five to 10 minutes on a low medium heat, occasionally checking on it, making sure it's not getting too thick. All right guys, so this is it. It smells amazing, y'all. It turned out so good. I'm gonna go ahead and serve it with some creamy mashed potatoes and asparagus. If you guys wanna see how the family liked it, Make sure you guys stay tuned for the mukbang. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you share this with anyone and everyone. And if you guys do try this recipe out, make sure to tag us on Instagram so we can repost you. Love you guys. Peace. So this is where it really counts at. We got a non vegan right here trying. Nice. What you thinking? What's the rating you giving for a one to... Man, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs>